Shark fishing started just at the outbreak of the Second World War. It was uh, started by uh, Sweeney's in Ackle Sound. Um, and the reason it was started was because of the shortage of oil. And uh, shark oil was very suitable for lighting lamps. Uh, prior to that, um, what's the Rory Sullivan? Joe. Joe Sweeney, as a young man, had bought the fishing rights from Liz's granduncle, John, John Barrett, and um, the salmon fishing was going down, I think probably because of the uh, competition from maybe Western Canada, John West, etc. Um, a lot of tin salmon was being introduced into Europe at the time. Uh, Joe Sweeney saw the opportunity for the shark fishing and was able to use the boats and the materials that they had used for the salmon fishing for the shark fishing. Set up a very, very successful industry for a number of years and um, the, uh, it was the mainstay of the island for about 14, 15 years as far as employment was concerned. And how did it work? They fished mainly from corrupts and uh, net and harpoon was the method of catching and killing the uh, sharks. They would drag them in then to Purchin Harbour where they would be uh, fleshed or flished, sliced up with special hoops, bladed hoops like uh, uh, hackers. And, uh, the flesh then would be uh, boiled up and uh, oil extracted. There was a huge quantity of oil in, in uh, Baskin shark. Um, they had huge livers. And the oil then was refined for lamps and... Uh, cosmetics. Cosmetics after the war and uh, for a whole load of um, basis for uh, everything from beer to very much in the same way as oils would be used for uh, from seaweed. And what kind of number of the sharks were they catching? Is there any record of it? or did you uh, Hundreds a year hmm. in the first eight to ten years. After that it started to decline. Nobody really knows whether the decline came because of overfishing or because the shark went on a, a naturally changed its area of operation or changed its area of feeding. Basking sharks are still a big mystery to uh, people because they just seem to inhabit an area for a number of years and then they move off, probably because of the feeding. Um, and the waters also got cool, colder. Was the waters got cooler here, and uh, but over the last number of years, the number of shark coming back is increasing. Nobody knows where they go from after they go from here. They mo we think they go down to the South Atlantic because they're not really a cold water shark. Um, now if a, a shark is caught, it's, uh, it, it's something of a prize, if you like, and it would be accidental, but they are protected. Right. And uh, people still have great uh, fondness for the shark. It was such an important part of the whole economy at the time. and fed and educated an awful lot of children. There are other sea life around, uh, sea thing. Dogfish. Waters are quite rich yeah. um, and varied and stuffed with great eating fish. Only problem being now that if you go 20 miles offshore, there's an armada of foreign boats, Icelandic, Dutch, French, Spanish boats just hoovering up everything. Um, so the amount of fish coming in at the moment is not as much as it should be, but the fish are out there. Um, it's causing a lot of problems here. We don't have many large fishing boats on the island now. They're all maybe 36, most of them, the biggest ones would be 36 footers. And um, quite a few of those now would be uh, part-time. You had a big whale recently washed up. We had a fin whale, which is... Uh, uh, something of note. Uh, 
it's the biggest whale to be washed up in recent times on Irish coastal waters. And uh, they had a bit of a job to dispose of it. Dispose of it. Nobody knew what was going to happen. They were even going to blow it up at one stage, which didn't go down too well with the local population. <laughs> so then they said they'd cut it up, but who was going to cut it up? So eventually they buried it and it came up. And they <laughs> buried <stuff>. it again. <laughs> <laughs> so we're hoping it doesn't come up next weekend when there's another very high water promised. Um, and personally, I'd love to see it dug up in about nine months as a whole skeleton and put it on show. Are there many of them out there? wouldn't say there are that many in close mm. to land. Uh, but you get a variety of big fish between the basking sharks, the fin whales and uh, orcas. You can get orcas off Acklehead and to the north of the island because there's a seal colony uh, at the back of Sleemore Mountain. <coughs> and it's an area called the Seal Caves. So the orcas hang around that area of the island for feeding. And uh, that may be one of the reasons why the fin whale came in. It may have been attacked by an orca or it may have got entangled between boats further out at, at the 20 mile zone and uh, managed to make its way into shallow water, injured. We're not sh quite sure what ha happened to it, but it was damaged before it came ashore at all. Mm. 